It's amazing. As far as society has come in terms of discussing mental illness, there is still a stigma around the topic. According to the Mayo Clinic's website, this stigma can lead to the person not getting the proper help they need, a lack of understanding from the person's family, friends, or co-workers, bullying, physical violence, or harassment, their health insurance doesn't sufficiently cover their mental illness, and or they don't believe that they will ever succeed in life. As members of society, the first step in helping end the stigma is to understand mental illness better. According to the Mayo Clinic's website, mental illness is any disorder that affects your mood, thinking, and behavior. I'll use depression as an example. This is one that most people have had to deal with. As the definition says, a mental illness will affect your mood. In a person with depression, they will typically feel sad. When a neurotypical person feels depressed, it is usually caused by something. For example, their pet or family member may have died. In a person with clinical depression, they may have absolutely no reason for feeling sad. The next part of the definition says it affects your thinking. For a neurotypical person, their thinking may change temporarily. In someone with clinical depression, this may be a permanent change. In extreme cases, this can lead to suicidal thoughts. In the last part of the definition, it says that mental illness can affect your behavior. In a person with depression, they may become irritable. They may also become pessimistic about things. Now, using the same definition, let's look at a mental illness that is not talked about as much, schizophrenia. This may be what comes to a person's mind when they think of someone who is crazy. However, schizophrenia is more complicated than that. First, let's look at how it affects a person's mood. A person with schizophrenia will seem to have no emotions. This is what is called emotional flatness. Next, we'll look at how it affects their thinking. According to WebMD, they may have a problem with their working memory. In other words, they may have a hard time if someone gives them a phone number and then instructions. Finally, Let's look at their behavior. A person with schizophrenia may become agitated. They may also show childlike silliness. These are just two of many mental illnesses. While this video won't eradicate the stigma surrounding mental illness, I hope it helps people to understand them a